It's your elder brother's birthday and your mom asks you to arrange cherries on the square shaped birthday cake. You decide to arrange 16 cherries on the cake as your brother is going to be 16 years old. You arrange the cherries randomly like this. Not looking good, right? Maybe because it is not symmetric. Can we think of a better arrangement? Let us try to arrange the cherry in rows. 16 cherries in a single row or 16 cherry in two rows will not fit on the cake. Arrangement of 16 cherries in three rows leaves one cherry remaining. Arrangement of 16 cherries in four rows looks like this. No cherry remains and the arrangement looks better too. If it would have been birthday of your father who is 42 years old, how would you make better arrangement? Same as before, try to arrange 42 cherries in single row or two or three rows and so on. In single row, it is too long. Also, with two rows, you have 21 in each row. Again, too long to be arranged on a cake. Let us consider arrangement of 42 cherries in three rows. There are 14 columns containing three cherries each. Can we reduce the number of columns? For this, we must increase number of cherries in each column. That is, we must increase number of rows. 42 cherries in 4 rows or in 5 rows leave 2 cherries remaining. The arrangement of 42 cherries in 6 rows leaves no cherry remaining. There are 7 columns containing 6 cherries each. Good! The number of columns are reduced. We could not arrange all 42 cherries in 4 or 5 rows but we could arrange all of them in 3 or 6 rows. In other words, we can divide 42 cherries in groups of 3 or in groups of 6 without leaving any cherry while such distribution is not possible in groups of 4 or 5. That is, 3 and 6 divide 42. They are called factors of 42 and 42 is called a multiple of 3 and 6. 4 and 5 does not divide 42. Hence, they are not the factors of 42. Let us write all the factors of 42. 42 itself, 21, 14, 7, 6, 3, 2, 1. 1 is the factor of every number. The number itself and 1 are always factors of a given number. In case of 16 cherries, we could arrange all 16 cherries in single row, 2 rows and 4 rows. But we could not arrange all 16 cherries in 3 rows. Hence, 1, 2 and 4 are factors of 16 and 16 is multiple of 1, 2 and 4 while 3 is not factor of 16. Exercise. Try to find other factors of 16 and 75 and 100. For 75, one hint. Is it divisible by 2? No. So look for only odd factors 3, 5, etc. For checking the multiples of a number and factors of a number, learn tables. The first number in the column is a factor of all the numbers below. For example, 3 is a factor of 6, 9, 27, 18, etc. All these are multiples of 3. Similarly, we see multiples of 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 in the respective columns. Also, you know the factors of the numbers. Now, let's try to arrange 7 cherries in rows. 
arrangement of seven cherries in single row leaves no cherry arrangement of seven cherries in two rows leaves one cherry arrangement of seven cherries in three rows leaves one cherry arrangement of seven cherries in four rows leaves three cherry arrangement of seven cherries in five rows leaves two cherries arrangement of seven cherries in six rows leaves one cherry arrangement of seven cherries in seven rows leaves no cherry that means we can divide seven cherries only in the groups of one or in group of seven thus one and seven are the only factors of seven the numbers which have exactly two factors one and the number itself are called prime numbers seven is a prime number first few primes are 2 3 5 7 11 13 17 etc we have already seen that 42 has factors 3 and 6 other than 1 and 42 the numbers which have more than two factors are called composite numbers 42 is a composite number 1 has only one factor 1 itself hence 1 is neither prime nor composite for quick and correct factoring and finding multiples learning the tables is necessary what did we learn factors of a number for example 1 2 and 3 are factors of 6 as they divide 6 multiple of a number for example 6 is a multiple of 1 2 and 3 as 6 leaves no remainder after division by 1 2 and 3 prime number a number which has only two factors 1 and the number itself composite number a number which has more than two factors 1 is a number which is neither prime nor composite exercise can you arrange all 18 blueberries and all 24 cherries in rows such that in any row of blueberry there is no cherry and in any row of cherry there is no blueberry try the same thing for 7 blueberries and 12 cherries <laughs>